I believe as a Christian that God created humanity in his own image. Jamie Arpin Reese is a God-loving, bisexual pastor in Winnipeg's West End. Still a contradiction in 2018, at least it is for his Christian critics. People who believe that uh, even to suggest that when a person can be queer and a Christian uh, is, is heresy, the word was used, you know, a, a heresy, and that, that hell was the only um, location for someone like me. The married 41-year-old Anabaptist Christian father of two leads a small congregation. He preaches his sermon not from a church, but from within a home. And, he hasn't uh, always been so yeah, open about his sexuality. But the mass shooting at a queer nightclub in Orlando two years ago changed that. I started seeing the voice of Christians in, in, in the wider media and in social media being often saying, you know, that's what you get, right? Um, I just, I couldn't be silent anymore. He's so been speaking you know, up ever since. Wife, to our community and there was a lot of really painful experiences, um, often perpetuated by well-intentioned Christians. And so as I grew uh, into my identity and began to accept that that was the way God created me, um, I wanted to to work hard to make space for other people who might have a similar journey. Now, Arpin Risi co-facilitates a support group twice a month for queer Christians. Pastor serving that work got attention last fall in CBC Manitoba's Future 40 Awards, which recognized people under 40 making a difference in the community. Praise followed. But so has condemnation. People send us very personally um, attacking messages, uh, usually cloaked in, we have to be this tough because we love you. Didn't feel very, very loving. Tara Glowacki knows that feeling of exclusion all too well. For LGBTQ Christians, it can be hard to find spaces where we can talk openly about that. The 29-year-old evangelical Christian is also bisexual. She's studying theology and may one day become a pastor herself. She helps facilitate that same queer support group for Christians. Prospective members must undergo a screening. And the meeting place? That's kept private. Because we're concerned about the safety of the people who are in the group, we're very concerned about keeping it private and confidential so that people won't be outed by being seen going to a meeting. Okay. Kloaki is going to Pride this year for the first time since coming out. Arpin Risi will also be there. By his side, a wife of 17 years, their baby daughter, and an adopted son from Ethiopia. For those who call him a fake Christian, Arpin Risi points to his life's work. A missionary for 24 years, nine of them as a pastor, decades of Bible study. And now, Arpin Risi has been posting his coming out story online to show queer Christians they're not alone. Take the time to genuinely listen to the stories of the people, to look at their lives um, and withhold the impulse to to um, formulate counter arguments and and judgments and just and just listen and build relationship. He hopes sharing his story will help critics see the light. Bryce Hoy, CBC News, Winnipeg.